Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray. Last week, I told you not to throw away the prawn head and skin and instead roast it and put it in the fridge. The reason for that is because today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy prawn broth and after that, I'm also going to show you one of my favorite Indonesian dish which combines this prawn broth base with some mushrooms and fish cake. Let's go! Start by roughly chopping some celery, carrot and garlic. Then heat up a pot over medium-high heat with about 3 to 5 tablespoons of oil. Then saute all the vegetables until soft and aromatic. After sauteing the vegetables for 2 to 3 minutes, add in the roasted prawn head and skins. I have roughly about 20 prawn head and skin here. Saute the mix for another 3 minutes and season it with 1 tablespoon of salt, half tablespoon of white pepper, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. If you're just making a prawn stock base for other dishes, you can just skip the seasoning part. Add in about 4 liters of water, bring it up to the boil, and skim the foam off from the top of the pot. Lower down the heat to the lowest setting, and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. And believe it or not, that's our prawn stock base done. For the fish cakes, start by dicing some Spanish mackerel fillets, season it with 1 tablespoon of salt, half tablespoon of white pepper, and one tablespoon of sugar. Add in about 900 ml of ice water in small additions, and blitz the mixture until smooth while adding the ice water little by little. Here I'm just moving it to a bigger bowl so it's easier to mix. Next, add in 800 grams of corn flour and do it in small additions as well because you can always add but you cannot take anything out. When the mixture looks like this, you can try boiling 1 teaspoon of the fish mixture and adjust the seasoning based on that. Here I'm adding 1 more teaspoon of salt and sugar and that's the consistency of the fish mixture that you want. Next, before finishing the dish, we need to strain the stock. Here I'm straining it twice just because I missed some of the prawn head and skin in the first try. And now is also a good time to try the stock and adjust the seasoning based on what you tasted. Here I feel the need to add a bit more salt, sugar, and pepper. And to make this stock unique for this dish, we need to add a squeeze of coffee lime juice, or you can just use regular lime if you don't have it. And we'll also need some chopped spring onions and celery leaves. Just add everything to the pot, mix it around, and turn on the heat. Once the broth has started simmering, you can start putting in the fish cakes teaspoon by teaspoon. You know the fish cake is done when it starts floating on top like that. And because I'm making a huge batch, I'm just gonna separate the fish cake from the broth and put them in the fridge separately. This way, I can just put individual portion like this every time I wanna eat, ladle enough broth in, and bring it up to the boil. This is optional, but black fungus or wood ear mushrooms are usually used in this dish. They usually come in dried form when you buy it from Asian grocery. So all you need to do is just to soak it first in warm water, chop them up and add it to the broth. And just let them boil together for 5 minutes. When you're done, simply ladle the soup over a bowl of rice or vermicelli. Traditionally, it's served with vermicelli, but I find it work with rice as well. Top it up with some spring onions. And I just happen to have some homemade chili paste. Totally optional. Recipe gonna be in the description box and next week's video. So stay tuned for that if you would like to know how to make it. And finally, just top it with some fried shallots. And there you have it guys, my Indonesian style prawn broth with fish cakes. I hope you enjoyed that simple recipe. And if you do, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And here are links to my previous videos, so check it out guys. Links and my share gonna be in the description box below. Leave a comment below, let me know what you wanna see me cook next week. See you next time guys, bye!